Where's your brother at? Oh. <laughs> hey, Mango. How you doing, bud? <laughs> silver, silver, silver. Oh, don't fall. Oh. Wherever the disc lands, we buy. Thank you to Helix Sleep for sponsoring today's video. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding customized to fit your needs. And it's conveniently dropped off right at your doorstep. But everybody's different and Helix knows that. That's why they made the sleep quiz. To match your body type and your sleep preferences to get the perfect mattress for you. They've got something for everyone's unique taste. And if you sleep with a partner, you can actually take the quiz together. Now based on my preferences, Helix matched me with the Midnight Lux. I personally am a side sleeper and I like a nice firm bed. I've had my Helix mattress now for a couple weeks and I don't sleep much, so when I get the time to sleep, it feels great to have a nice mattress that supports your back, is extremely comfortable. Just waking up. Game changer, Caferos. It's a whole different sleep. I constantly wake up in the middle of the night, constantly. And I'm telling you, ever since I've got this mattress, my sleep is 10 times better. I'm not waking up all the time. I'm sleeping all the way through the night, which is amazing because you wake up feeling better. I could not be happier with this mattress, let me tell you. <laughs> As a matter of fact, Helix is so confident that you'll love your mattress. They offer a 100 night sleep trial, along with a 10 year warranty and their financing options and flexible payment plans. You get more than three months to make sure you love it. And if you don't, they'll pick it up and give you a full refund. Another good thing about Helix is they deliver your mattress straight to your doorstep, hassle free. If you're in the US, it's actually free shipping. It comes rolled up in a box, you unbox it and actually just it, it does that, not kidding. Ready? Dude, that is so cool. All you gotta do is go to the top link in the description or go to helixsleep.com slash for up to $200 off your Helix Sleep mattress and two free pillows. Click the link in the description and sleep better, Caferos. Thank you so much, Helix Sleep, for sponsoring today's video. Without further ado, let's go. What is going on, Kaferos? Welcome back to another video. We're doing another challenge video. Lots of wheel videos in the past, dart videos even. And this is similar to one of the videos we just did the other day, except for we landed on something totally unexpected and ended up getting a Mata Mata turtle. There is the Mata Mata right there. He's got a little bit of algae on the back of him. Good thing I have a UV pump ready to go in the tank, but he's doing fantastic. He actually ate for the first time in front of me. Just sucked up a goby. I wish I got it on video. Next time I'll definitely be sure to film it. But our Mata Mata is doing good. You get a disc and it's prize drop. You drop it and it landed on baby turtle. So obviously we have new options in this game. Two of the existing ones because I think these were great options and then two mysteries. And the two mysteries are actually Instagram stories. So if you're not following me on Instagram at Paul Caffero, I'm going to actually ask Instagram what I should put in these two boxes if I hit it. $150 gift card shopping spree. I mean 99% of the time $150 means unlimited. We're just going to go buy whatever we want. And fourth is another Instagram mystery. Wherever the disc lands, we buy. Simple as that. Although before I drop this disc, I'm going to throw you over to PC Farm 1.0. Now the VZ Kids Farm, where they've done so much and I update you on obviously our animals that are still over there. The goats, the big pigs, the ducks, Gary, Kevin, everyone's over there. Let's quick update you guys on the farm animals and then we'll meet you back over here at the disc drop. Hey Lady May, I can't wait to take you home, Bubba. Very soon, very soon. Where's your brother at? Oh. <laughs> hey Mango, how you doing bud? Uh, oh. <laughs> You need the little eye. I see your face, Mango. You don't see it much, but I see it. Mango's like, oh yeah, that feels good. I look like I'm in my business attire. Maybe I'm doing deals you guys don't know about. <laughs> Definitely not, you see my hair? I can't do any business deals with that. Look at the goats. I can't wait to get these guys home too, and this is actually next. I figured out how to make it work where I can get the goat enclosure made and set up for the building and still make it all go to together. So we're gonna get the goats here probably next week to the PC Farm 2.0. King's coming, little baby's coming, Oscar is coming, of course Boots is coming, and then Emmy and Mama Goat, which is, she's over there. Someone's shooting. Oh. Oh, and of course, if you guys didn't know, uh, there is now llamas. Llamas, llamas, I'm not kidding, not alpacas. Straight up llamas. This massive chicken coop, if you guys haven't seen this yet, uh, that's also the Visa Kids. There's Papa VZ right there. Hey, What's Anthony, up, Anthony? What up? I'm using my old vlog camera right now because it was just in the truck. It's, it's weird, I could zoom in so much more than my other oh, camera. It's faster. Oh, it's way faster. <gasps> One duck and a whole lot of chicken. I switched the guttering system yeah. so when it rains, the water comes all into the gutter and fills this way. 
And they drink the rainwater. And they got all the uh, little nipples in there. Oh, that's Five crazy. And they Dude, this thing is literally self-sufficient. Oh my God, it's full. It's full of water already. That's cool. Hey, Duck Gary, so great to see ya. Oh, it's good to know he does not miss me at all. Kevin, what up, Kev? Unfortunately, we can't take these guys until the building is done. So it'll be a little bit longer for the ducks and obviously Gary, Kevin. Ah, it's been a while. There we are. I don't even know where that went. Oh my goodness. That was a good yeet. Ducks are fed. Hello, piggies. You're getting so big now. Hi. That's a microphone. Ow! Son of a gun got a good bite on them. They got big. They got really big. They're almost ready to come out. They still fit through that one fence right there, so. Oh, hi, Dad. What's up, Papa? Willow. And of course, our hogs are over here as well. These things like triple in size every time I come here. Look at them. Which is your favorite animal here? Mine? Whether it's yours or mine. Uh, out of every animal in here, I like the llamas, chickens, and tortoises. What do you think, Anthony? Um, the ducks. Ducks? Of course yeah. you like the ducks. Yeah. You like Gary. Dude, that pig bit me so hard I'm bleeding. That didn't feel good. Anyway, quick update of the farm. Just wanted to, I literally am filming on my old camera. I just wanted to update you guys there. These kids are living here, taking over, feeding the animals, doing it all. It's time to do the halo reflection. This is deja vu. Which one do you guys want to see it land on, Conferos? Let's see. I'm gonna drop it right in the middle and let it bounce off. I think that's fair. Oh! Oh! Literally, there ain't no fake in this. It's the first drop. I'm not even gonna cut the clip there. $150 spree, again. That's two times in a row means shopping sprees. For the 150, we're going for it full on. Whatever we see and we want, we're buying. Smash that like button, Conferos, because my bank account is going negative. Let's go to the fish store. <laughs> I should have thought that through. We are here at the aquarium shop. Same place we got the turtle last time. We're actually gonna check out the fish this time and see if they have anything cool. If not, we'll move over to the turtles. Long fin tiger barbs. Look at these things. Crazy. They've got just about everything you could think of. Small fish wise, right here. Over to the bigger stuff. This is some of the bigger stuff. Of course, we have the smaller stuff still on this side here. Looks like they got a bunch of koi fish in. Like, when I mean a bunch, look at them all. Beautiful white one right there. But there's a whole lot of koi. So is this tank's full, too. Lots of people love big koi. Those things definitely won't last. I hope you can see me right now and it's not too dark. That's probably better. So many koi fish. I wonder if we got these from Next Day Koi. <laughs> some butterflies right here. As you can see, look at them. Such beautiful fish. Of course, gladiators we got, and some guppies. One on over to the side here. Looks like a bunch of African cichlids all along this entire thing. Look at them all. There's so many. So many African cichlids. They're just everywhere. So beautiful, I love this color. It's like a, it's a white, but has like that tint of blue to it. The bigger African cichlids are all down here, and the, obviously the big tank, but this is all African cichlids. Ooh, some big goldfish. Look at the size of those things. That one with the white on it's really pretty. Damn right there, I like him. That one's that one that one's pretty. Oh that one is too though. That's what a common goldfish could literally turn into. Silver, 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 silver. Albino. Oh, there's another albino back there. There's this too. I really wonder what they're going for. $434. I've had bad experience with arowana, so I'm honestly gonna pass on this one until we get something really situated, like the fish building that's coming. We'll have a big pond in there, probably a net on top of that, and we can get some big arowana. Um, I'm gonna be smart about this one, pass on that, but beautiful fish. That might be the largest angel fish. Oh, whoa, 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 hey, stay back. Stay back. This guy's ready to fight, dude. He's, he's ready to fight. Angels and some discus. That was the quickest run through of that place I've ever filmed. But talk about a cool cichlid tank. Check this out. Baby front coast up in there. I love those. I've actually caught these things out in Miami. Just wild. So it doesn't look like we saw any fish that we'd want. So let's head over to the turtles. Dude, they have the craziest turtles ever. Every time I come here, I don't even know some of these species. It's crazy. Yellow blotched map turtle. $350. Check them out though, look at the freaking shell. Looks to be like there's a bunch of different species in this tank. They're all climbing all over each other. Oh. Hey buddy. What's up? Oh, don't fall. Oh. They're okay. Check this out. I got my Mata Mata turtle here last time. Here's his brothers and sisters. They're all still vibing. Quang Ton River. 
and they're only 80 bucks, which is not bad. Still a little expensive, you know, it's a turtle this big, but what I like so much about these is they look melanistic, which is like all black. Perfect. Woo! <laughs> Got ourselves a melanistic turtle. I'm just gonna call it that. It's not that. Kwong, Kwang, I don't even know how to pronounce the turtle. But I'm gonna show you. I have all this stuff for the goat enclosure. This right here will be a video coming out soon, um, but I wanna show you our new turtle. All black, I mean, and then look at the belly. It's more pink, some of them are redder than others, but this guy was, or girl. I think it's a female, actually. Beautiful turtle. You're expensive, little guy. As you all know, I've been getting a lot of turtles lately because in the new fish building, I know I call it a fish building, when I mean the most badass turtle pond you've ever seen in your life, all my turtles will go. Big, small, medium, you know what I mean? That's why I keep getting more and more turtles because I'm turning into a big turtle fan and I'm gonna make the coolest enclosure inside that building when the time comes. But for now, we're just growing them all up. I'm super excited with this one. What do you guys think, huh? We got a turtle, Mia. Don't eat it because I know you like to eat everything. What do you think, Carl? Turtle? Yeah, look at the thousand gallon. We got all the fish tucked in. Look how big the red tails are getting, the short body red tails. I have a fire eel as well. You can see his little head. See his nose sticking out? There is some cool fish in this 1,000 gallon, and it's only a matter of time before we bring these fish and put them into the new house. That project should be happening anytime soon, so make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss that. We did just get a new turtle, though. We've got a lot of different turtles in here. The yellow bellies that have gotten so big. Let's see if we can get an Indian spotted. They usually hide under here. We got Indian spotted, which are definitely the most beautiful turtle I have. There's like four of these things in here. Look at the face on that. Go back in your little hole, there he goes. We got African side necks as well. Can't forget about our African side neck. There's a pink belly side neck in here, albino Chinese soft shell in here. This looks like it's a little up for some reason. Oh, there he is. Look, I found him, first try. It is such a beautiful turtle. He tries to bite me every single time. I'm sorry, bud. Oh my goodness. Without further ado, our melanistic looking turtle is about to go into the new pond where it will grow big and then be transferred to something even cooler later on. This little guy or gal needs a name though, so drop a comment down below of a name we can name this turtle and I'll feature you in an upcoming video. Here we go. He doesn't know what the heck's going on right now. He's looking around, think about it, he just got dropped into a whole different universe. And there he goes. All the way to the bottom. See ya buddy, he's like, where do I go, which direction? I'm gonna go this way. What a video, I think I have the most fun ever making these turtle videos, especially when we do a cool challenge like that. Smash the like button if you wanna see more stuff just like this. Of course, subscribe down below so you don't miss any future videos and for an update on the baby crawfish. As you know, we had a bunch of baby crawfish the other day. There, look how big they're getting already. Look at the size comparison to mom here. I had to move the mom into here, so the mom is in here. I just put mama crawl inside the turtle pond. And the babies are all in the tank. Everything's doing great though, the tank room looks amazing. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. Big shout out to Helix again for sponsoring today's video. And guess what, Kafaros? I'll see you right back here in that next one. Peace!